Hello and welcome to another new vlog. My name is Bailey. I am a fourth grade teacher and this is Parent Teacher Conference Week. This is our first round of parent teacher conferences for the year. In the fall, we have teacher led conferences, and then in the spring, we have student led conferences. I have been slowly starting to prep for conferences. I mentioned in my vlog last week and then also on Instagram that all of our subject units seemed to end last week. So I have been busy with grading a unit one math assessment, an assessment that covered units one and two in reading. We wrapped up our first unit unit and writing our realistic fiction stories and then we also did our first science assessment on our own. So my first step in terms of prepping for conferences was to grade all of those assessments. I knew that I wanted to use them as evidence of my students learning and also areas where we have some opportunities for growth. Now that I finally have all of my grading done, I have a few more things that I need to do to be ready for the conferences. The first is our leadership binders. I know I've talked about them a bit before, but they are a portfolio for my students, a story of their learning in fourth grade. We put all of our assessments in the binders. I use them when I'm prepping for conferences, report cards, progress monitoring, things like that. They are also a really helpful way to communicate with adults at home the progress throughout the year. About every other month, I will send home the binders with new learning to share, and then the adults at home have the log at the front of the binder where they can sign and date that they saw everything in the binder. I also have an optional space for them to offer any words of encouragement or goals for their learner. I am a big fan of the leadership binders. I think that they are a great way to organize and communicate student progress. So today was the big day. We filled them and sent them home for the first time. My hope is that families will have an opportunity to look them over before our conferences this week. That way they have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. The other part of my prep is creating a document to share with the parents during the conference. So I'll show you what that looks like. My district set out specific things that they want us to communicate during the conferences, so I took that information and put it into a slide like this for each one of my students. On their report cards, they have a set of classroom community member life skills that we're grading them on. When we grade them on anything, we give them a B for beginning, a D for developing, or an S for secure. Report cards are a bit away, but before that, at the conferences, we make sure that we share where they're at with each one of those skills. So that is what you see here on the top of the slide. Then at the bottom, we're also asked to provide a grow and a glow for each student. I have created the individual student slides with their names at the top, but now I need to go through and fill them out. I remembered that last year I had the students self-reflect and fill out their own classroom community member skill sheet with BD or S. That way I could check in with what they are thinking they're showing me in the classroom and I use this while I'm filling it out and then also while I am in my conference with the parents. So like I said, I have conferences tomorrow and then the rest are on Friday. I have 12 tomorrow. So tonight I will be bringing home my grade book. I'm also going to bring home the sheets that they filled out. I'm going to make sure at least those 12 are done. And then I will check in with you tomorrow for the first official day of conferences. Popping in real quick to share two things I realized I haven't already. Starting with the first thing that I use to schedule the conferences, I use Sign Up Genius. Sign Up Genius is a free website where you can create signups for events like conferences or classroom parties. For conferences, I set out the 26 15 minute time slots I have available and then I can send a link out to the adults and they're able to sign up for the slot that fits their schedule best. It's super easy on both ends to schedule everything and then I can always send out the link individually if I need to get everybody on the schedule. The other thing that we do to get ready is a craft to display on our lockers. Last year, I purchased a monster application craft from TPT. It allows them to practice and showcase their work with arrays and multiplication. We made the monsters and then put them up on their lockers to share with families as they're coming in. Last thing on that same note, I also make sure that our classroom fridge and bulletin boards are all up to date with things that we're currently learning in the classroom. I make it a priority to welcome the families into an organized, clean space. 
Good morning, happy Wednesday, day one of conferences. I am all set for my 12 conferences this afternoon. We're going to dismiss the students at 3.30, and then I have 12 15-minute conferences back-to-back -back between 4 and 7 o'clock. This morning, I'm going to start by printing my materials for the conference. I'm going to print one set for the parents and then one set for me, so I want to get that done right away. Here is my outfit. I'm wearing a button-down from Pink Lily. And then I have on my Old Navy Pixie pants and some shoes from Amazon. It's 8 o'clock now. I just got home from night one of conferences. I am realizing that I have not picked up the camera today, I think, since this morning. After I printed out all my materials to share with the parents at conferences, I went around and I was passing out some protein bars that Bill Bar sent to me to share with some teachers at my school. I thought that this would be a good time to pass those out, give a little extra treat for conferences week. So that was really fun. Then I had the kids help clean the room a bit before they left. We spent about 10 minutes all working together, making sure that we were looking good for welcoming some guests into our classroom. We, I had about 30 minutes from the time that I said goodbye to them and then started our conferences. I mentioned earlier that I had 12 15-minute conferences this evening and beforehand our PTA provided a meal for us in between saying goodbye to the kids and starting our conferences, which I very much appreciated. Got a little bit of food in me for the rest of the evening. I'm really happy with all of the conversations that I was able to have with parents this evening. I am confident in the fact that we're going to continue moving forward as a team to best support each student. So I'm feeling really good about all of that. I didn't share much of what I had ready, how I set up all of that. So we have our second day of conferences on Friday and I plan to walk you through that a little bit more then. Things were very busy in those 30 minutes of trying to get the classroom clean from the full day of school and then transitioning into having everything ready to roll for the conferences. On Friday, we have the second half of our conferences, so I will make sure that I share all of that in more detail. We have a half day on Friday, so we will have an hour in between the kids leaving and conferences starting. I'll eat lunch and then get set up and share it all with you then. Overall, a good day of teaching and then a good evening of conferences, and I'm looking forward to the rest of them. It's Thursday, the day between our two conference days, and we are comfy cozy. This morning, I started by prepping the rest of my conference reminders. I have 12 conferences tomorrow, so I was cutting up the little reminders and filling them out. That way I could hand them out this afternoon. I've also been working on my glows and grows. I am going to wrap those up tonight probably at home and then print them out tomorrow morning. We do have a half day tomorrow but I have my plan time so I can use the time before school and then my plan time. I also have about 45 minutes after I dismiss the kids until my conferences start, so I'll have plenty of time to get those printed tomorrow. When I had my first in-person conferences in the spring, my mentor gave me a really good tip. I have this sign on my door that says basically knock at your conference time just in case, you know, we get lost in conversation, which of course happens so often as you know, but I have that sign on there still from Wednesday and then I also reprinted my schedule for the Friday dates. It's really nice to have on the door as a reminder of times. So we'll be all good for that. I also have my little basket of mints that I have left over from Wednesday, so that is ready to go. The only thing that I'll have to make sure I do tomorrow is print out the rest of my glows and grows. But we have had a long day of teaching. I had girls on the run after school. It is already somehow 6.20, so I'm going to head home and probably have some dinner before I finish up with my glows and grows. I was talking with my teammate today, though, and I really do enjoy conferences. It's a lot of work, of course, but it's so fun to be able to sit and brag about my kids and my class, all the good things that are happening, and then 
be partnering with their adults at home in things that we're growing or working towards. It just feels really good to have those conversations and I'm enjoying them. It's time for me to go home, get that stuff done a little bit later, and then I will check in with you tomorrow for the last day of conferences. Happy Friday. I did not get a chance to check in with you after school, but we just wrapped up our conferences. Conference week is officially over. Everything went so well. I really enjoyed all the conversations that I was able to have with the parents. I am just feeling like we are all right on the same page and things are moving along really smoothly, so I appreciate that. After school, I was just making sure I had my sign on my door. I had the schedule printed out. I also forgot to mention that I put some chairs outside my door for people to sit in while they're waiting. I had all of that set up and then I also printed all my documents. I had a set for myself and then I also had a set to hand out to parents as they came in. I put out my mints on my table and then some chairs around my desk and I was all set up. Again, really good conversations. I really enjoyed the time to get to brag about my kids a little bit and share all of the learning and growing that they've done so far. It's been busy, but definitely a fun week in fourth grade. It's time for me to go home. We also don't have school on Monday, so I have a full three-day weekend to rest and recover before coming back. I hope you enjoyed following along during conferences week. If you have any other tips for conferences, feel free to leave them below. I will see you in my next video and thank you for being here.